Christmas countdown. Say number 24. Now, we do have a 25. So I have no idea what's going to be in this one. Uh, might be a part for 25. So, um, I am going to open 25. I am going to open 25. I just don't know what to do with it. Oh, look at this. This is another bit of the... Ch this is definitely the best one. So we've got Chopper's... Uh, little wheel at the middle. So it is, it is definitely Chopper. And we've got his little antenna as well. So that is definitely by far the best one. So there we go. We have got one, two, three, four, five. But we promised six. So you have to join me. Uh, for number 25. I don't know if you do it now. Uh, Tell you what, join me at the end for number 25 after the Lego. How's about that? Oh, hello. He won't be long. Nearly finished. Looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, it's a veritable fairyland. <laughs> oh, transported for another world for a minute. So here we are, we're at number one in our top 24 of the greatest TV Christmas specials. And at number one, we have Steptoe and Son. The two Christmas specials originally broadcast in 73 and 74 of the perennial popular BBC sitcom starring Wilfred Bramble and Harry H. Corbett set in a rag and bone yard. In the 1973 special, Harold Corbett books a Christmas holiday to Mallorca, which even he knows he won't be going on. And that was followed in 1974, which was actually the last episode ever made of the series. Harold eventually gets away from his father, Alfred Bramble, after years of trying. So here we are, day number 24, final day, Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, everybody. And we do have a minifigure, yay! Aye, yes, I remember seen that somewhere um so it is we don't have a ron we don't have a namine unfortunately but we have a neville we have neville we have a long bottom see i don't know see i don't i don't know so we're gonna have a really quick one this time thank god for that <laughs> i think they should have left the there we go look at him look at his face yeah, they should have left. Um... It's strange having him last, but look at that sword. That's pretty cool. I like that. I don't like Neville, but um, day 24. Maybe it's been better to build the, the train set. For well, I show it was a bit of a strain. But there we go. Um, I think ranking the minifigures. I think, yeah, Neville. Neville's up there. Um, Money Myrtle. Snape. Pretty cool. We've got Harry, obviously. Tonk, Tonks and um, Voldemort. And, oh, we, we've got a... I've got to say, is it... I think, I think it's Mr. Dursley, isn't it? Um, we've got Pedwig as well. So, um, best bitty figure? You always tell me in the comments which one you like. I like Money Myrtle. I don't like Morning Merle. I think that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to have that on display. That is pretty cool. Um, but Neville's could as well. But you can have Snape as well. You cut that. That's pretty cool. So the dioramas, you've got the spinning thing. We never played it. I, I haven't learned how to play it. I just have no enthusiasm for playing it, to be honest with you. But, um, uh, I, like, I do like the dragon. The dragon's pretty cool. Um, the, the, the snake, um, I still don't know what the hell that is. Uh, the bus, the bus was pretty cool. Um, simple but effective. Um, and the Whomping Willow, the Goblet of Fire, but yeah, I think the train, I think the train's pretty good. 
I don't know if I did it correctly, but it does look all right. The station. So yeah, the train and probably Morning Metal are probably the winners out of that lot. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Johnny, are you gonna, I'm going to go over now to day number 25. I mean, you can, you can stop it and watch that tomorrow if you're suspicious. Suspicious? Uh, superstitious. <laughs> Or suspicious if you want, um, but I'm going to have 25, day number 25 of uh, the Droid Factory. Stay tuned. So we are day number 25, yeah, I know, I know. Day number 25, let's move all these. Um, so we're going to open 25. Where's, oh, look at this. So this is going to be a full droid. Oops, turn it. This is just one big droid. Oh, you know what? It, you're not droid. It is, don't you? Gonk. Oh my god. Oh. I know somebody's gonna be very happy. Look at that. We've got a gonk droid. Look at that. That is fantastic. Full, full gonk droid. And it, it does have a. Uh, Thing on top so I suppose we can mix and match as I said at the very beginning remember back way back when where we can actually uh, put other bits in I think we can well that's well, not going in there for some reason but yeah you can mix and match apparently <laughs> maybe not that though for some reason probably can probably can I just I just had that there oh, that's not even going in there now so it probably does fit in there, but um, oh, doesn't fit on there now. Uh, right, um, I'll try it in there. Try it in there. Yeah, there, it fits on there. But there we go. It's a shame that we don't have, there wasn't one for that, which um, there wasn't, unfortunately. But yeah, so we've got the final gong droid, that is brilliant. It hasn't got clicky li clicky legs though. So. Yeah, that's a shame. But, so, the best droid, I would say, I would say gonk. I would say gonk because um, he's, a, he's one of the best droids. Um, so we've got the BB-8 droid, we've got the R5. We've got a couple of R R5 somewhere. Um, so the R5, I think I think that's the best. I think Chopper is the best. I think you get the best, the best bits of Chopper. Maybe Gunk second. Um, that's third. That's fourth. That's fifth. And yeah, BB-8 six. <laughs> but yeah, they're all really good. Six droids built. Oh, I'll just push that back in. Oh, and I'm just coming it. Oh, there we go. I don't want to push that back in too far. So yeah. Oh no, what a fantastic little uh, advent calendar. I really enjoyed it. I hope you have too. And I hope you have a really, really, really good Christmas. Until the next time. And next year. Hopefully we'll be doing another one next year. I will say, no toys be with you. <laughs>